up? This is Ben Falcons Media Corner and welcome back to another movie review aka After I Saw and today I'm going to be talking about the 2021 sci-fi drama thriller from Netflix and this is of course Stowaway. Now Stowaway, this was written and directed by Joe Penner and basically tells the story of these three crew members. Uh, you got Zoe played by Anna Kendrick, Marina played by um, Tony Collette and uh, David played by Daniel uh, De Kim. And basically, these two crew, crew members uh, go in their spacecraft to basically go on this mission to Mars. But unfortunately, what during the whole mission they were supposed to go to, it gets uh, it gets a bit complicated for them because what happens is they find a stowaway that uh, ends up in the ship, and this stowaway is named uh, Michael, played by Shamir Anderson, who apparently he's kind of like a life threat of sorts to the spacecraft or anything. And basically we see these crew members trying to deal with this whole situation they're facing that could jeopardize their lives or even the spaceship itself. So they basically see them trying to make a tough decision that could hope make them hopefully to basically survive this whole situation they're facing in space. So that's pretty much the story of Stowaway. So for going into Stowaway, um, I was curious to know how this film was going to work out because I haven't seen much space films in my life. But there's a couple more I really need to see that people have been recommending me to check out, you know, like Apollo 13. Uh, Interstellar, I really need to see those movies so badly since what people have been saying about those movies But I started seeing a few f space films before I've seen two in cinemas before I saw First Man back in 2018 I went to see that in IMAX and that was a great movie with Ryan Gosling directed by David Giselle And I, I'm looking forward to reviewing that one for you guys on YouTube And another one I saw in, in cinemas as well for a space film I saw was uh, Ad Astro Brad Pitt and that and I didn't know what to expect from that film, but I had a really great time with it. It was a really great surprise for me. So for this film going into it, I just didn't even know what to expect. We're thinking, is it going to be as bad than the other space films I've previously seen before? And I was very, and I, I really like the cast who were in this movie. There's not like a whole big cast in this film. It's only four people you got in this film. You got Anna Kendrick, which I like her as an actress. She's a really talented actress. I've seen her in a few uh, really good movies back then, you know, like the Pitch Perfect movies or... Uh, a simple favor and all that some like romantic stuff as well as like comedies and dramas and all that kind of stuff and she has and i think she's a really good actress here. and you got tony collette as well which i think she's one of my favorite actresses i, I really loved her and you know the sixth sense Wilma sunshine hereditary knives out i think she's such a great actress and i, I would love to see her win an oscar sometime because again she's just such a great actress here. And you got Daniel De Kim, who I don't think I've seen him in much stuff, but from what I've heard um, before, four people have been saying about him before, but I, for, I don't know if I've seen him in, again. I just don't know if I've seen him in films before that much, but I think he's a talented actor. And you got Jimmy Anderson, which I haven't seen him in much stuff, but he's also pretty talented as well. And the director as well, Joe Penner, who also wrote the film. Um, I don't think I've seen anything else he's directed, but this is the first time I've only seen that he's directed. And so. Um, so I decided to watch this movie on Netflix because again it came out on Netflix. It came out on Thursday uh, last week. So I watched this uh, Thursday and this movie, I thought this movie was actually pretty good. Um, it's not like my favorite space film or anything. It's no one is bad than the two ones I, I mentioned before that I have seen. Uh, Ad Astra and First Man. I like those movies a lot better than this. It's not like this movie is really, it's not this movie is terrible or anything. No, 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 no. This movie, I I really enjoy the really enjoy this film. It's a really claustrophobic film as well, um, which almost reminded me of Gravity, which I forgot that was another space film I've seen. But Gravity, it's it's by far one of my favorite space films I've seen, and one of my favorite films of that year, twenty thirteen. It's such a groundbreaking and thrilling, uh, stunning movie. But this film, it's no end. It's trying not to be you know top notch to basically compete you know against Gravity or anything, but. Uh, I still like the, the claustrophobic stuff in this film. It's, it's mostly inside the spaceship. It's not like outside of space. There's something life-threatening outside the whole, outside of the whole spaceship or anything. It's basically inside the small, sm small spaceship. As a very and there's some claustrophobic scenes in this film, which I thought the direction for those scenes were pretty really well handled by the director himself, Joe Penna, and I think he directed a pretty good job. It's it's a well shot film for inside the ship as well as for outside of space. That's what I really liked about this movie. And the effects as well, the effects, I thought they were pretty decent for the most part. Um, 
there's no like it's not like a whole big there's not like loads of big you know cgi spectacles or anything like that but the effects i thought they were pretty decent for the most part and as for the, uh, the acting in the movie all the acting i thought they all gave solid performances anna kendrick i thought she was pretty good as well as tony collette daniel day kim and shamir anderson i thought they all did pretty good pretty good um solid performances however the issue I had was really his pacing. Its pacing felt a bit too slow because to me it did feel like the movie was like two hours or something even though this is only an hour and 50 minutes or so. But it, it just feels like that for me. It just it didn't feel like a movie that was that boring time. It just again to me it just felt like a movie that was like two hours or something. But um, uh, my main issue I had was really its character development because for each of these four uh, crew members we've seen that this the different kind of personalities they have in the film like you got Anna Kendrick who's like full of joy and you got Tony Collette who's kind of serious of like what she's trying to do and you got Daniel Dekim who we always see him like in the oxygen like mask of what he's wearing in space while he's trying to breathe because I think he's like sick or something in the moon you got Shamir Anderson who his character um Michael who um which, uh, of course, you know, he's a stowaway and then he ends up across these crew members. And then there's this whole, like, jeopardizing things, like this whole terrifying situation that these ca these uh, crew members are facing in space. But his character development, I, I didn't mind his character development for him because we see him being, like, more involved with him in the film with these crew members. Like, he's, like, suddenly becoming a part of them, which I thought that was pretty good, even though it's just, again, some of the other character developments I wasn't a fan of. It wasn't, they weren't like make me mad or anything while I was watching it. I was just like, eh, it's, it's all right. I, I would say it, it could have been a little bit better. It was, but the right, it's not the writing was awful. There was some pretty decent writing. It's just, there's, there's some character developments I wasn't really a fan of. And again, the pacing in this movie, I thought was a bit too slow. I thought it was just slow. Since to me, it felt like the movie was two hours or something, even though it's under two hours anyway, so. But that's pretty much all I have to say about Stowaway. And if you have seen the movie already, again, let me know what you think of Stowaway. Again, it's streaming on Netflix. And again, I had a pretty good time of it, although it's not like my favorite space film I've seen. And there's a lot more other space films I really want to check out that people be recommending me. Mo like, there's not, it's not like a big, serious, like CGI, you know, action space film or anything. There's some like space dramas I like to see, as well as some thrilling films that I have seen before, like uh, Gravity, Space Cowboys. First Man, Ad Astra, and and now this movie. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of them I do want to check out as well. So mainly Interstellar and Apollo Thirteen, which again I really need to see those movies so badly. But but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about Stowaway overall. So overall, out for my rating out of five for Stowaway, I'm gonna give Stowaway out of five three and a half out of five. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching for my review of Stowaway. And again, let me know what you think of this movie. If you've seen this movie already, we did you have a really good time of it? Or weren't you really a fan of this one? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next AK After a Soul review, which it's probably going to be doing. I'll be doing another double movie review, AK After a Soul, for two movies I did see a couple days ago, like for the past few days ago. So just to let you guys, just to let you guys know. So yeah, and as always, this has been Falcons Media Corner signing off. We'll <laughs>